You know, I miss this. Sipping coffee, planning your day. Mm, no anger, no resentment. You know, the storm before the calm is drastically overrated. Well, here is to better weather. <laughs> Let's make a list of all of the things that we did right. Hmm? What, you actually kept one? Well, no. But a lot of couples in our position would be having breakfast with their nearest divorce lawyer. True. We're lucky. We never crossed that line. We never did anything that either one of us couldn't fix with a little understanding. We learned from our mistakes. Damn the past, full speed ahead. <laughs> Do you remember our first marriage do i have to <laughs> do you think we would have survived this go around not likely in those days being late for lunch was grounds for divorce <laughs> well packed no one in this house ever mentions the d word again or walks out or threatens separation or forgets that everything that we need is right here deal deal I never want to lose you again. You won't. Where is she? In there. Thanks. I'll see you back at the station? Sure. All right. Okay. Janet. Yes, Janet. That voice from your past is none other than blood-sucking station manager Liza Let Him Have It Colby. I know that you're angry. I just wanted to talk to you. Drop dead. End of conversation. Janet, please. Could you hear me out? If I was being strapped into the fry chair today, you'd be there ready with your cameras, wouldn't you? Watch the cutting edge! We put the sizzle into daytime. Today's show's a real killer. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Your apology is not accepted. How about we do another show? Life after a murder rap. Janet lives high on the hog in a homeless shelter. I really want to help you. Help me? Like you did on the witness stand? Comparing me to serial killers? You almost helped me onto death row. I told the truth as I knew it. The truth is, you groomed Sheffield into your own little stormtrooper. And Laurel paid for your lust for ratings with her life. It was a tragedy. And I'm starting to accept my responsibility in it. Oh, have you given up your six-figure income? Turned over your paycheck to Trevor's kids? Maybe cooked a home-cooked meal for the poor widower. Janet, I know you haven't had many breaks. Try none. You need a job, don't you? I'm weighing my options. Well, I'm offering you a job at WRCW. Maybe I can take over Jason's position. Maybe one day I'll snap and plug a guest. Liza and company does it again. Oh, the networks will be knocking down your door. I'm really sick about what happened. A good and a kind person is dead, and I played a part in that. I will regret it all of my life. Now, why don't you go soothe your conscience someplace else? At least think about it. No, Liza, I'll tell you what I'm going to think about. All those hypocrites who lied to me and pretended to care. And then they threw me out like yesterday's coffee grounds. That's what I'll be thinking about. So why don't you go to hell and leave me alone? It's okay, my It's okay, honey. Mommy's right here. It's okay. Right here, sweetie, Honey, his, his bottle's not in the fridge. You can check the mini fridge and tell her. Well, I saw her at the five o'clock. I think she probably crashed after. I'm trying to sneak in there without waking her. Okay, thanks, honey, because I think he's really worked up an appetite. You're hungry now, aren't you? So maybe I'll take the bottle this time. Non-toxic, 
helps to discourage thumb sucking, perfectly safe for kids of all ages. Sorry, kid. Same thing my mom put on my thumb. Yuck. Who is it? Edmund. Uh, just a second. Come on in. You're up? I know, it's not even noon yet. What'd you get there? Um, just Mansfield Park. Ah, an Austin fan. <laughs> yeah, I bought it from your library. Is that okay? Sure. Um, just came for a bottle for Sam. Oh, I have one right in here. I'll get it for you. Um, I can feed it to him if you want me to. Um, no, I thought we'd give it a try. Good idea. Let him get the hang of it. Well, let me know how it goes. Will do. I know, I know. I just wanted to be this to be it. Listen, if it's not this time, there's always Kelsey. But I'm his mother. He knows that. Look how safe he feels in your arms. Oh, honey. You think he can feel how anxious I am? He feels nothing but love. I just wish I could hold him right here in my arms forever, and I wish I could give him everything he needs. You will. Okay. You ready to take the plunge? Okay, Sam. Pucker up. Here hey, comes Sam. your favorite beverage. <laughs> you ready, sweet pea? Come on. For mommy. Please, for mommy. first time. So I guess I'm here to provide the most important meal of the day. Uh, thanks, Kelsey. It's okay. I mean, we don't have any choice. If, if Sam needs time to adjust, we'll just give him time. No way, you broke a hundred? Yes, my son, he's gonna be a professional bowler someday. Mm. Did you have fun? <laughs> the best. What was your dad's score? Don't ask. Maybe you should join a league. I missed you, Mom. Oh, baby, I missed you, too. Mm. Things have been so too, too quiet around here. Um, I'll get it. I'll... Hello? Hi, it's me. Hi. When are you coming into work? Uh, soon. I'm running a little late. Soon. Oh, well, that's uh, not on my watch. Could you be more specific? Why is something wrong? I just went to see Janet at the homeless shelter. Am I hearing you right? Well, we got a tip that she was there, and and I really wanted to go and apologize. And? And she... I, I, don't, I don't know. I just felt like I had ruined her entire life. Well, don't beat yourself up. She had a head start. She was just really angry. And I don't think that she believed me. And I could really use somebody to talk to. Um, well, I'll, I'll stop in just as soon as I get to the studio. Could you make it soon? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm on the way. Bye. Um, honey, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, you have to go? Yeah. When they came up at the station. Anything I should know about? No, no, it's nothing I can't handle. Oh, see you later. Bye, guy. Bye. Bye. Hmm. Who called? Uh, Liza, I think. I hate her. 
You know what, um, I think her package came for you. My power trooper? Yeah, I think so. It's up on your bed. All right! <laughs> Still not Liza's biggest fan. <sighs> He'll be fine. What's going on, Daisy? Why does Junior hate Liza Colby? Is Turner waiting? Canceled. Just a few minutes ago. The mayor called some last-minute council meeting. Oh, it's just as well. Uh, mail. It's all sorted. There's oh. a ton this morning. All right, thanks. Okay, I'll be in the kitchen if you need me. All right, thanks, Terry. You. Well, uh, let me help. No, it's okay. I, I, I've got it. <laughs> you should have watched where I was going. No, no harm done. I just, I was, uh, I was just surprised to, to see you here, that's all. I was so anxious to get back to the cabin after the judge gave me my walking papers. I couldn't wait to see the look on Pierce's face when he found out I was a free woman. I even had dreams of a romantic reunion. And they all went up and smoke. Poof. Why is that? Brooke, I'm not sure that Pierce wanted me there. He had his doubts about me. You didn't go, then, to the cabin? Nope. I mean, why couldn't he have trusted me the way I trusted him? I just think that the taped evidence was very compelling. Yeah, well, I guess a picture speaks a million words, doesn't it? After all, I, I did kill someone once. How could I expect Pierce to overlook that and, and, and pretend that it wouldn't affect him, all the things that I'd done in the past? I'm sure Laura was very happy to hear that the charges were dropped. You should have seen the look on her face when Jason confessed. I think she was being pulled in so many directions. She looked like a kid on Christmas Day. She loves you very much. I love her, too. She and Pierce are the only family I've ever really known. I can't imagine my life without them in it. I'm going to have to get back to my office. Brooke, wait. I owe you an apology. What? An apology for what? Well, you've been so decent to me throughout all of this, and how did I repay your kindness? I accuse you of trying to steal Laura from me. Janet, I understand. There you go, letting me off the hook again. Wow. How nice can one person be? Please, Brooke, tell me, can you truly accept my apology? I'm the boy's father, if there's a problem. Look, Adam, did you like everybody when you were a kid? Junior's not like me. Well, thank Adam. He's usually open and accepting with everyone except Liza Colby. Okay, Adam. Junior has a problem with Liza. Big deal. I'm not going to force him to pretend to love everyone. At the wedding, he treated her like Cruella de Vil. Look, Adam, I haven't been talking about Liza in front of Junior, if that's what you're talking well, about. Well, then, where is this coming from? Look, why don't you just let me handle it, please? Has Liza done something? Oh, Adam, let it go. No, not when my son is concerned. Is it you and Ted? You've hardly been America's sweethearts lately. Ted and I are working things out. Things have never been better. Junior is fine. We are fine. All's right with the world. 